What's going on YouTube? Dave here, and welcome back to my channel. Today's Tuesday, bitches, so you know what that means. Titty Tuesday. That's right. Titty Tuesday series where we bring in the woman <laughs> of the house, we beat her up a little bit, and we, we put derp, the audio derp, on the internet. Derp, 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 derp. It's all here when you talk. At least you're not denying the allegations of spousal abuse. I don't even know what you're saying. I just hear derp, 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 so... Why would I be denying anything? Sorry, let me change my language. <laughs> I, will, I will start to speak bitch for you just so that you can figure this all out. <laughs> Your laugh, like, <laughs> it goes way past the limiter every time. I can't help it. You gotta chillax with that laugh. Ugh. So you got way addicted to another show off of the good old classic family network of MTV. And it's oh, catfish. It's just hilarious. I wouldn't say I'm addicted. It's just every once in a while, I like a little. I like to watch a little drama. I mean, who doesn't? It's absolutely hilarious. And a lot of the people on it are pretty freaking heinous. <laughs> like, why would you lie about who you are? Just completely flat out lie about who you are. Pick another person's profile and just, oh, I'm gonna be this person today. That's creepy. There is seriously something wrong in your head if you think that's okay. Well, some people lack self-confidence, so I mean, that could... I, that seems to be like a big motivating factor on that show, is like people are like, Oh, I just didn't think that they would like me, you know, because I'm overweight or whatever. I guess, but... Ugh, I don't know, I just find it really, really awkward. It like, is there's awkward. There's so many people that do it, it's nuts! Yeah. They're, they're, they're in their, like, what, third season now? Are they? They're, I want to say they're in, like, their third season because the second one is what I'm going up on. Oh, I thought there was only one season. No, there's a lot of more episodes. Well, we were talking about it because you were watching that shit tonight while I was sleeping the day away. <laughs> um, and you asked me how I would feel if I found out that somebody else stole my identity. And that's really weird to think about. Like, I... I really hope nobody is out there like right. posing to be me because there's a lot of my life on the internet like it it wouldn't even be hard because it's not like these people are, are knowing shit about the people either they're just going to random like Facebook pages collecting these people's pictures and then Making becoming them yeah, yeah. And it's, fucking, what I, I don't get what I don't get is okay say someone did or someone made another profile of you mm -hmm. and well say you met someone at school and they're like oh hey dude I'm gonna add you when I get home on Facebook or whatever in case you guys are talking or whatever and how does when the person when like you when they type in your name wouldn't it freaking cause a red flag if there was two Matthew Davises with almost like well, the same picture okay you're fucking up because these people aren't stealing the way to just drop my full fucking name but, uh, oh, whatever. I know. Uh, it's not like <laughs> these people are picking people and using the same name. So what it is is they go out and they find a picture of, let's say, John Doe. Okay, the guy's like, I'm going to go get all of John Doe's pictures because John Doe is a more attractive guy than me. And I'm going to try to get bitches to date John Doe online. Okay. So he creates a profile using John Doe's pictures. But instead of being John Doe, his name is like Steve Harris instead. So... In order for you, the, the, the two pictures won't pop up because you would have to search for Steve Harris to get Steve Harris's pictures to pop up and then John Doe for oh, John Doe's pictures to pop up. Yeah. So somebody could have pictures of me and say that their name is, you know, Frank Stewart somewhere and it's just creepy. <laughs> it's just so odd. Oh, gosh. Like, you wake up every morning and go online and check someone else's social media stuff like that's not yours no. they think you're well, someone else it kind of is you, theirs Ew. right they create it because all of these people the one thing they have in common is that they all act like themselves they just have a different picture right so it's yeah. all their actual personalities it's just a different picture oh. i really hope that if somebody's gotten you know a replica of me out there they're at least somewhat of a badass and you know like <laughs> i would hate to be some complete weirdo yeah you know, like, like some somebody like yeah like Ew. somebody creates a new image of you and oh he's my just like gosh. a meth head or something like that'd be absolutely horrible if, like that's the image that somebody created yeah. with your identity god what would be your first reaction though like i don't i don't even know what i'd do i think i would catfish the shocked. guy really yeah i think that's what i would do Ooh. Ooh, yep. That would be good. I would catfish the fuck out of them if they were doing me, and then I would I would get them 
to eventually meet some way somehow. Oh, that would be that would be okay. Look, that would be the primo episode for that show. Yeah. Is to say like one of these dudes that I have that had had their identity stolen or whatnot finds out catfish is the guy contacts the show and be like i want to meet up with this bitch because he jacked my identity and then they finally get oh you to meet God. up the dude thinks he's gonna meet some chick and all of a sudden the guy that he the, whose identity he stole gets out of the car oh that would be God, absolutely ape shit uh, yep i just made mtv millions of dollars yeah do you think they'd really do it though like, why not that would be the, the best episode they could possibly I know, but have that's kind of the, not the point of that show. It's the, so the, the point. for dating, like actually No, meeting, well, yeah, right? well, you. that's the thing is you, so if, let's say somebody takes my identity. Mm -hmm. I create a female and I quote unquote date this guy to make him think that it's a woman on the other end. So I catfish him into giving me my identity back. It's a scam within a scam. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so it's good. It's way better than the oh. shit that's currently going on. Yeah. Because I'm not a... I don't know. I think the show's kind of stupid. I, I The way I see it, I just don't see how people are so goddamn retarded. Yeah. Because it's like, why are you talking to somebody for, for 10, 10 plus years. years? And you've never once been like, hey, can you send me a picture of you and write on a note card my name so I know it's a genuine picture? You never yeah. once said that. Or like, <laughs> let's fucking meet up. That. Like, motherfucker, look. If I'm talking to you, and let's say we're fucking talking online or whatnot, you got like 10 emails. <laughs> After that 10th email, we either e A, need to meet somewhere so you can prove who you are, or B, you're done talking to me. You're not going to string me on for 10 yeah, fucking I years. I find it so odd that people get so involved with these other people that they don't even know, like, yeah, you may know something about them, but do you really? Because they could be someone completely different. And I just find it really odd that these people, quote unquote, fall in love or fall for these people and it's like you don't even know who they are you've never met them half the time they're not even the person that you think they are well that's kind of what happened to me in a way just not on the internet with the ex-wife and everything is like we got to know each other through letters for a good chunk of time through letters and phone calls and uh -huh. that's you know and then we ended up getting married and living together and we were completely different people from what we expected that's so weird right yeah, but it wasn't like a that. catfishing scenario by no, any no, no, no. we actually met each other in person <laughs> before we started talking <laughs> let me clear that one up but I, I mean i guess i could see how it happens and and in our minds it was like oh cool like we actually got to know who we really are on a, on a personal level without the distraction of a physical relationship but that's not the right way to go about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely you know? not. But when you're young and in my situation, I guess things are a little sketchy. Well, you just kind of fucking jump all in. <laughs> it's not a bad well, thing. Yeah, I mean, at I that don't point, blame you. You didn't know what the fuck was going to happen the next day. Right. No, definitely. Um, so what's your take on what if somebody was you? Um, I would just be freaking shocked. I'd, I wouldn't know what to say. I don't know if I'd want to confront the person. I would just want to try and get the profile taken down or something. I just, it, what if that person is some weird ass motherfucker and they're like, just, they're psycho or something, or they have some weird freaking personality disorder. I don't want to run into that shit. I don't want to be involved okay, with that. Okay, so one of those episodes of the show, this chick was talking to a, a quote unquote guy Mm -hmm. And the guy turned out to be a girl, and she was a lesbian. Oh, that bl yeah. yeah that what if bitch. some dude is controlling a virtual Ashley right now? Like he's got your profile picture. It's just some fat basement dwelling sweat mongrel that just talks to to other men because he you know gets Ew. off on it. Oh, I'd be pissed. <laughs> well, then I'd want to go to his house and cuss him out and make him look like a douchebag. I'd freaking record that shit. Yeah. And, on and you know what blows my mind is um, <laughs> they contacted one of the people that one guy was acting like. There was one guy who was using the pictures of a model. And they contacted the model. It was the... Oh, yeah. yeah. They contacted the model and he was just like, oh, whatever. Like, he didn't seem to be fucking butthurt what? about the fact that somebody well, he used his guy. identity. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's still not it's the point. It's still weird. Right. Like, like, why are you doing that? It blows my mind that he wasn't more... Pissed off? Yeah. <laughs> hostile about the situation. Oh, you know? Like, yeah. I'd have been heated. Ugh. But in a way, he kind of sold those pictures because he was a model, but they were also his Facebook pictures, so I don't really know. Yeah, it's freaking odd. I don't way know. odd. Yeah. To think that there's that many people out there that are willing to, A, 
get really serious and committed to people that they never ever met yeah i guess that's where my story or hardly ever have a I chance of meeting that's where my personal story differs from this is i had actually met the ex-wife in person before yeah. we talked but like to to get so fucking invested in these people that they've never ever ever even met or have any proof that they're real is just it's mind-blowing it's freaking weird i don't know Ugh. I don't know how people do that. Like, you don't truly know the person unless you've actually hung out with them. You can talk to someone on the phone all you want, but mm -hmm. you don't know how they really are. You don't know what makes them tick unless you spend time with them. Speaking of spending time with people, we aren't going to do Sexy Saturday this week. Oh, yeah, huh? Because we have other obligations. Yes, we do. I don't know where you want... Well. What? I don't know where you want to go to dinner though. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to do some searching. I say we hit up a new place that we I haven't agree. been. You know. Yeah. I wonder how Hachi is in Red Rock. I've never heard of it. It's that Japanese restaurant. Oh, you know, I don't know if I want sushi. Anyway, oh, okay, Saturday is our little anniversary, so that's cool. Three years, and yeah. I haven't killed him yet. Applause. But, <laughs> but you're coming up on my three-year rule, right? Yeah, the three-year rule is that you, you got, have to live with me for three years, and, and then, then you gotta go. To me. No, <laughs> no, that's not what it is. Yes, it is. No, the three-year rule is after three years, you gotta pack your shit. <laughs> that's how it goes down. No. So Sunday, we're gonna. You don't want me to go. We're gonna spend the day Sunday cleaning all your stuff up. If only that was face cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're gonna break my microphone. Anyway, so no sexy Saturday this Saturday because we're gonna go out and have some fun and just enjoy our time together in the meantime motherfuckers be wary somebody might have your identity out there and don't trust motherfuckers you meet on the internet especially if they're women because they're actually men yeah and if they're hot and they're on the internet you haven't met them in person they're men yeah, yeah. or they're morbidly obese or they're your best friend and they're just weird and they're posing as some supermodel yep so be wary and keep your shit semi Protected, I guess. Yeah. Don't let people get to your shit. Fuck social media. And we'll catch you all next week. Adios.